What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be going over the state of the game, talking a little bit about what Clash Royale posted recently on Reddit, the balance changes of course, and then um, just some ideas I've had floating around the game as well that may or may not be terrible. Um, sorry for no intro and outro. I know that's the only reason you guys come here, but I'm on a time crunch to post this video So <laughs> I still think it'll be pretty good. So bear with me um, But yeah, let's just go ahead and start talking. This is gonna be a discussion video Obviously no gameplay, but the next video will be gameplay um, Most likely new decks after the balance change. All right, so hi y'all It's common place for us to ask you questions I ask questions, but this time we've got a few questions for you yada 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 what should we have for lunch today? I've already read through some of the Reddit comments and it's mostly just variations of the hog. They want to brutally murder him, or brutally murder his pig and the hog rider and uh, eat it. So that's nice. Um, if you could make one change to the game, what would it be? Um, we'll get more into this with the final thing, but I mean, of course, just like a really good tournament standard mode. Um, I don't like ladder being the, the main game mode. The fact that pro players almost play a different game than uh, the average free-to-play player is uh, kind of sad in a way. I know they have to make money, um, and I'm, that's always going to be uh, addressed in my concerns or uh, suggestions for the game. But uh, I feel bad because I really enjoy playing the game that I do, and I do it as a job, so that's saying something. Uh, Clash Royale is a great game, but yeah, leveling issues uh, and the fact that some people can only play one deck because they're free to play is unfortunate. So what is the biggest reason you would stop playing if they stopped taking esports seriously? I don't think it's going in that direction. I think it's actually improving greatly, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, what feature would keep you playing for another year? It's kind of the same thing with Tournament Standard, but also um, just new modes that are better than 2v2. I would really like a fun, like competitive 2v2 mode, but the current one just doesn't work. It's not very good. Uh, so, I mean, I'm sure they have things in the work. Clan Wars could be awesome as well. A bracket uh, type mode would be awesome as well. That could have really good rewards. If you could be any character in the game, which one and why? Um, definitely the witch, because I am the dude lord. I love uh, the ability to make skeletons. But I would have to be male, because I am male. And I would need a buff, because she sucks. Okay. <laughs> what simple quality of life improvements are on your wish list? The number one quality of life improvement is without a doubt 10, 10 deck slots. Like, please, Supercell, give me more deck slots. I would absolutely love it if I didn't have to screenshot 100 different decks and have them all on my phone, and then put them in a folder, and then go reference them every time I need to fix my decks. I would love having more deck slots. If I could buy like five deck slots at a time for like ten dollars, I would do it, and I would have like thirty deck slots. I'm not even joking. Like you can just have like a little button up in the top corner that like you click once and it switches to like two, and then you have five more decks. That would be awesome. Um, other than Royale, what games do you play? So I'm the type of guy, and I think this has a big impact on why I'm a pro player. I pick one game and I play it until I'm the absolute best I can be and uh, that's a process that never really ends if you're that dedicated to the game. Um, so kind of my run through of games would be I started by playing a Game Boy, well I started when I was like two or three years old and my mom got me like a special mouse so I could play games on her computer because um, my hand was small. <laughs> um, but then I went to like, I played Pokemon, I had a Game Boy, um, then I was a PlayStation gamer, I had a PS2 and a PS3, I played Call of Duty, that type of stuff, I was good at zombies. Uh, then I, once I got a PC, and then I never went away from PC gaming until Clash Royale really, um, I played World of Warcraft, and I was pretty high ranked in that, I was a good PvP player, I like killing other people, not things. Um... And then I went to League of Legends, which I played for like three or four years. This is so like I got a PC when I was like 13 and then played until I was like 18. Uh, and then eventually League of Legends, I was like top 2%, but not good enough to be a pro, obviously. That's like a top 0.01% thing. Um, and then Clash Royale came out. I started playing it. I got addicted to it. I stopped playing League. This is also like during the early stages of college for me. Um, and then I went to King's Cup and the rest is history. And that's where I came from. So, uh. And then finally, would you rather fight one giant-sized goblin or 100 goblin-sized giants? So I'm kind of just answering these questions because I think it's funny. Um, so in real life, so it depends whether it's real life or whether it's in-game. So in real life, it's definitely 100 goblin-sized giants. 
because I'm from Texas and we have guns and I can shoot them and they're small and they don't move very fast. Uh, <laughs> so definitely a hundred uh, goblin-sized giants in real life. And especially because one huge giant-sized goblin, it runs really fast. It, uh, it runs really fast. It would presumably be hard to kill because it's huge. And it has a shiv. And I don't want to get stabbed by something that has... I don't want to get stabbed by something that's like as big as my body if it's that huge. So definitely in real life it'd be a giant. Uh, the giants. And in the game though, it would be so easy to distract a big goblin. Um, but it wouldn't be easy to distract a hundred giant, little giants. That's like, think of even like a hundred ice golems. They don't even do that much damage, but they would be so hard to stop because they just play them in the middle at the bridge. They split 50 of them on each side. It's like, there's like no, there's no counter to it. So in, in game, definitely you would rather face the huge goblin. So <laughs> those are my thoughts on that. Next up, we're going to do something a little bit more serious. We're going to go over the balance update that is coming tomorrow. Um... So let's just hop into it. So first off, Mega Knight. Spawn and jump damage down by 25%. Uh, deployment radius reduced. So smaller splash when he's played. He doesn't do as much damage when he's played. And he doesn't do much damage when he jumps. 25% is a lot. Um, I actually think that's a bit more of a nerf than I expected. I was thinking they would just hit his health. I found it odd that he has like... 3300 HP or no is it Pekka that has 3300 HP either way they're both around that range and Pekka only has like 200 100 HP more than uh, Mega Knight so I thought they would just make Mega Knight um, give him like a 5 to 8 percent health nerf but they decided to take this um, this path I don't completely disagree with it because I do think he needed a nerf he was very strong too tanky um, and too usable but they did nerf the main archetype he was being played with which was that bait um, in that type of deck so I was a little bit surprised that it was this big of a nerf. But I'm not saying he didn't deserve it, so I'm not unhappy about that. Uh, next up will be Skeleton Barrel. Oh, that'll make Hog better, by the way. Okay, so next up is Skeleton Barrel. The Skeleton Count goes from 8 to 6. So I actually think this is the perfect nerf. Um, it did need a nerf. Um, I, I kind of wish this had maybe only lost one Skeleton and then Burn Dragon had gotten a bigger nerf. But uh, Skeleton Barrel, I think this is perfect. They shouldn't take away the death damage because then it's just a bad card. Minions and bats would then hard counter it. That's why it wasn't good before. Um, it also has versatility. It can be used on defense because of the death damage. Because um, the things that usually kill it will die to it. Um, and I like versatility in any card if it's going to be um, good. Um, and then they can't... I don't think they lower the HP of the barrel because if you've ever played a barrel that was a level... Like one level under level at tournament standard. If it was level 8 instead of 9. It doesn't even reach the tower. And I think that's by design, so when it's normal level against the same level tower, um, tournament standard, it gets to the tower and it breaks on top of it. That's by design. I don't think I don't think uh, it makes sense to have a health nerf. So I think they nerfed. That was perfect. That was a good change. The one change I don't completely agree with, and I think it was kind of random, is the knight nerf. I was really surprised by this. I thought knight had actually been used a little bit less recently, but... I mean, I'm not angry about it. It's not a huge change, but I don't think Knight will be used as much. I think ice decks that use Knight previously just use Ice Golem, or they don't use that deck at all. So odd, but I mean, I'm not angry about it. Knight has been good for very long, so it's okay. Whatever. Um, next up, Inferno Dragon switches between targets slower. So this can't be quantified until we actually see how it is. So this may be a huge nerf. It may not be a nerf at all. We just have to wait. I mean, it's obviously a nerf, but it may not be a large nerf. So we're just going to have to wait and see how it plays out. I'm not 100% whether I like that change because, I mean, of course, when I was thinking nerf Inferno Dragon, I think nerf HP because it's really tanky. Um, but I guess that would be reverting one of the old buffs to it. So maybe they don't like doing that. Um, cough, cough, skeletons. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I will have to wait and see, but I, I am happy that they finally nerfed it. Um, Bandit, minimum dash range 4 to, four to 3.5. So I saw some people misunderstanding this on Twitter. Um, this is 100% a buff because her max dash range is still 6. Um, it's just when something's closer to her, she has a higher chance of dashing now instead of walking up to it and you yelling at her for being stupid. So, <laughs> so I think that's a good change. Uh, Bandit was... I like that they're emphasizing her difference from Ghost as well. They're kind of similar in how they uh, are offensive threats that have a little bit of defensive value and on counter pushes and whatnot. So em emphasizing her dash mechanic and making it a little bit better is exactly how you should buff her. I like it. She was underused. 
Next up, Dark Prince um, was already on the verge of being viable. So a, a hit speed uh, buff that ups his damage by like 7% and a hit points buff by 5%. Uh, very reminiscent of the Prince change. I don't think either are OP, but I think they'll both be usable and perhaps meta now. Um, I like the Dark change, Dark Prince change. Maybe he'll be good in that, uh, that 3 must deck again, especially with Mega Knight nerfed. Um, 3 must becomes better. Um, so that deck could be good and a few others could be good. Um, let me scroll down because you guys can't see the rest. And then, oh, I mean, it's just Magic Archer. But uh, Magic Archer, I don't have any thoughts on because I don't, I don't know much about it just yet. Uh, the one thing I was upset about was they didn't nerf Goblin Hut. I thought even like a 5% HP nerf or a small duration nerf, anything just to make it a little bit less overwhelming because it, it gets so much value. It's like a pump that doesn't have any risk. And I don't like that type of gameplay. I like cards that make you make decisions that uh, rely on skill. Um, I will say if they nerfed Hut, Goblin Hut, they would make Graveyard bad. But then again, I don't really like using Hut, so it doesn't even make me happy to use Gra Graveyard. And that's one of my favorite win conditions. So uh, I wish they would have nerfed that, but maybe the meta shifting will make it less relevant. It has been used to less this patch than it was before, so... We'll see how it goes. The, the main thing is, it doesn't trade well with uh, any spell. So, Poison is the best counter to it, and that's like a decent trade. It's pretty even, but it also baits it, which is okay. But Fireball trades terribly with it. Lightning isn't good, so we don't see that. Um, I So, one thing I suggested on a podcast that I was on recently, um, Cash Royale Podcast, check that out if you have it. It's kind of similar to some of the things I'm going over the bounce here, but way more in-depth. Um just search cast royale and it should be the cast royale and it should be the first one uh where i talk more in, in depth about these balance changes but uh something i am going to be suggesting to supercell is i hope they up the i hope they buff fireball and lightning here's how i think for lightning i think the old style of lightning was kind of nasty and that's when they nerfed it to where it's like hog instant lightning it hits everything because the radius is so freaking huge um i think you should be able to space out troops and do well against it um, maybe they could give it just a tiny bit of a radius increase, but they usually work in 0.5s and 0.5 would be back to its old radius because it's a circumference, so it's actually one tile. Uh, well, it's in every direction, so it's actually pretty big to do, say 0.5. Um, so I would actually just like to see the stun duration increased, give it more utility, um, and then it actually nerfs Inferno Dragon even harder. Inferno Tower not really used, um, but I would like to see like somewhere between a 1 second and a 1.5 second stun, I think that would be the perfect way to buff it um, without increasing its radius. Because I think that makes it more of a decision type card. You have to try to uh, still thread the needle and choose what you want to use it on and everything. But I think that would be a big enough buff to actually make it good again. And as Fireball, you can't buff the damage because it makes Three Musketeers trash if you buff it too much. And that's, I don't like that type of rock, paper, scissors. You should I still have a chance if your opponent has Fireball and you're playing Three Musketeers. So what I would like to see them do is I would like them to see, I would like to see the arrows treatment where they slightly increase how fast it travels. If they do that, it then becomes more rewarding to use in Hog and Expo decks because it's faster. Um, I don't think it needs to be a huge change. Like if you're throwing out an enemy princess tower, maybe it arrives... 0.25 to 0.5 seconds faster. Um, I do think that would be that would make it more rewarding to use, and that would make it. I just think there needs to be more competitors of poison because really now, right now, it's only poison and rocket. Maybe a little bit of fireball, but lightning's completely out of the picture. So I would like to see those changes. That's kind of my state of the game type thing. And then here's just an idea. Um, I'm going to talk about some other stuff too, but here's an idea I had, and then I've actually. Uh, modified it but i'll just read it off i wish clash royale would make attorney standard ladder to make monetary sense what if you start out with getting 16 cards of your choice which means two decks unlock for free then unlocking any other card permanently for that cost 100 200 gems is what i meant um so the reason i don't think this will work is it's too upfront. um it's too much of a threat to their current monetary uh their monetary their their, their model of profit um how they make money um so i don't think this is possible um this would be awesome but i think Something we else something we also suggested is perhaps in between one month ladder seasons they have two month two weeks of a tourney standard ladder that can happen at the same time. It has probably very bad rewards, like nothing as good as the current ladder, so it's, the current ladder is still the main game mode. Um, but then maybe you pay a thousand gems to play for two weeks on a tourney standard ladder. Um, maybe if you finish top one thousand you get like a halfway decent reward. 
but just that way so everyone can play on an even um, on an even playing field and unlike grand challenges there's actually a ranking system um, I think that would just be very rewarding to play in on and if it's it's only two weeks and then two weeks at the end of the season there is it doesn't exist so it's not like a game mode that's always available and it has like 1,000 gym buy-in like I would be down to do that and I don't see why you could complain about that if you're a free-to-play player because you can either save up the gyms over a long time probably not feasible but I mean it's it's ten dollars and I think that would be a really fun mode and really good practice and tournament standard so it's it doesn't have the BS of ladder over time where it's only one minute um, I think that would be an awesome concept uh, and I don't know if they would ever do that but if they ever hear this I would love it and it makes sense it's uh, it could coincide with normal ladder. Of course, you would have to figure out like how it works in the in the UI and everything. But um, I would love for something like that to happen. Um, also, Clan Wars, if they're already working on that, and a tournament revamp would be much appreciated as well. But just having a mode where players that maybe don't want to spend a ton of money, uh, maybe for once they can actually. I mean, this is it has it can't be free because it has to make Supercell money, and it can't threat their it can't threaten their current model. Of making money um, so I, I think this would be like the perfect solution um, I'd be very I'm oh by the way comment any thoughts on anything I've said throughout this video um, comment your thoughts and then like and sub subscribe if you liked this type of uh, video and, and if you just like my content in general of course um, but other than that um, I think Clash Royale is headed in a good direction I think esports especially is really up and coming for this game um, and of course there's like rumors I can't give too much info, but like uh, really big esports orgs are getting involved in the game, so the, I'm really excited about that. I think Clash Royale is a game that'll be around for years to come. Um, and just the Reddit thread in general, where Supercell asked for feedback, I think is really nice because it means they're listening. Um, hopefully, they listen to videos as well and the pro community, which I actually do think they are doing. Um, they've they're welcome to having us give balance feedback actually now for the first time. Um, so with that, with of course they don't have to do what we say. They just what give them give them our thoughts, which is cool. Um, so I'm really optimistic about the future in general. Um, and I think these balance changes, I would give them like an A minus. I think Goblin Hut should be nerfed. But other than that, their nerfs were really on point. Only the Night nerf was kind of odd. Their buffs are really solid as well. Cards that deserve buffs. Uh, did I say Valkyrie before? I don't remember, but yeah, she's whatever. Um, they didn't really buffer that much. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and please leave me your thoughts, and I will see you next time with probably new meta decks, and uh, yeah, new meta decks. I was going to do a video on a different deck, but it got nerfed, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Alright, so see you guys next time. Um, have a good day, and oh, peace.